What's up guys, Brad here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about these guys and how they're taking your performance in Death Stranding on PC. So I grabbed Death Stranding on PC a couple days ago because I really wanted to play through it again. I've already played through it on the PS4. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a different type of game, but that's besides the point. Uh, I really was interested in playing the game on PC because of uh, better settings, better resolution, more custom, uh, customization, and the ability to play at a higher frame rate. So it was kind of strange though. I was watching some videos, Digital Foundry's videos, for example, seeing the type of performance they were getting on even lower end graphics cards like the 2060. Now for reference, I have a Ryzen 5 2600 and a RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition. Nothing special, no overclock, other than the XMP profile uh, for my memory. So when I booted the game up, I noticed I was only getting between 75 and maybe 90 frames per second on the high end, which was opposite of what I was seeing online. Even Googling and YouTube searching some videos, people with a similar setup with a, maybe a slightly faster G, uh, CPU. Essentially, I was seeing people get 120, 130 frames per second in sections that I was only getting 70 to 80. So what the heck was going on? Well, I discovered that there's some type of issue with using a controller with the game, as well as Steam's implementation of support for Xbox One and PS4 controllers. Now this is easily fixable and I'm hoping there will be a patch eventually that way we don't have to go through this. Uh, but let me jump over to the computer here on my screen capture and show you exactly what's going on and how to fix it. All right, so we're in Steam here and I'm gonna go ahead and go into my settings under controller and then general controller settings. Now you notice I have both PlayStation and Xbox controllers, their configuration support checked. This is important, we'll come back to this. We will be unchecking these, but first I wanna show you exactly what's going on with the game. I'm gonna go to my options and just to go over the graphics settings, these won't be changing at all throughout this video. So I'm on full screen, display one, which is my 1440p monitor, 1440p monitor resolution. I have VSync turned off, However, I am using G-Sync, so I have G-Sync turned on in the NVIDIA control panel uh, just to mitigate any issues with that. Max frame rate set to the maximum in-game. Everything set to the maximum settings here, and DLSS 2.0 is set to quality. Uh, again, none of this is gonna be changing. So here, loading in, already we're at 78 frames per second, which is pretty low. If we look at the GPU, it's actually not really even being taxed at all. Uh, at 60, 61%. So let me pick this up. I'm gonna run out here and just make note of the frame rate here. Uh, later on in the video, I'll throw some side by side of the before and after, just so we can kind of see a comparison. Uh, and I'm gonna kind of do the same thing, run up to this step, wait for Dead Man to give us a call. I'm still in the opening parts of the game. Uh, now take note of the frame rate here as well. We're gonna be around uh, 114, 115, a little bit. So again, we. Drop back out, we're into the 80s here. Again, we have the controller plugged in. So let me go right over here. I, I feel like this is a good area to kind of test this out here. So if we look at our frame rate right now, we're at 82. Okay, now check this out. I'm gonna unplug the controller. Now watch this. 125, so 82 to 125. That's insane. That's almost a 40 frames per second difference. That is crazy. Let me plug the controller back in. I'm gonna drop right back down. Check this out. Bam. Let's unplug this controller again. I'm gonna go right back up to 125, 124. I'm gonna plug the PlayStation 4 controller in. And again, 82, 83, whatever. So that's insane. So we're getting a massive performance degradation here just by plugging in a controller. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of Death Stranding and I'll show you exactly how to fix this issue for the time being until they patch it. So I'm gonna go right into Death Stranding properties and we're gonna go into Steam input per game setting, forced off, close. Now I'm gonna go in my Steam settings, back to the controller. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug, uh, untick both of these, hit back. 
Also, I don't have the controllers plugged in right now. If you do this, you definitely wanna unplug your controller or turn it off and then turn it back on. That way it won't uh, interfere with that. Um, you can also restart Steam, but I don't see the need to. I've done this quite a few times in preparation for this video. Now your vibration and everything will still work. Your controller will still work like normal. You will just get a huge increase in performance. So, so back in Death Stranding, I'm gonna go to options, gonna double check, make sure my graphics settings are all what they were. They should not have changed at all. I haven't changed anything. Yep, and they're all the same. All right, so we are back in the game and already from before we were at about uh, 77, 78, we're at 110, 111 right now, which is a huge, huge difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and run my normal route here that I did before. Uh, and then I'm gonna stop right up here when Dead Man gives us a call, but look at our frame rate there, that is insane and look at this so remember before we were at about 115 frames per second 141 right now we are maxed out that is awesome so i want to come back to this little section here uh if you remember i was kind of turned around up here looking at the building back here and remember before we were around the 80s mid 80s i believe and then if we go ahead and unplug the controller we really shouldn't see any difference. I mean, it's going to kind of fluctuate there for a second while it remaps everything to the keyboard. Plug the controller back in. Should again see a little uh, variation there, but we're good to go. In the 130, 35, I mean, we're almost maxed out here. And then let me go ahead and plug in the PS4 controller and we should have a similar result here. So variation there, obviously, but we're back up and running and I can run around and my frames per second is just fine. I'm actually getting what I'm supposed to get now and I still am able to use a controller. So for those of you who do not like using the keyboard or mouse, this is awesome and a great workaround uh, in the meantime until this game is patched. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a side-by-side -side just to show you the difference in frames per second. transport of morphine to isolation ward for immediate administration to the president. Check the map on your cufflinks if you're lost, Sam. The isolation ward should be pretty obvious. And that's it. That's how you fix this issue right now. Really simple. Uh, hopefully it still gets patched pretty soon. Uh, I really just like having those features uh, selected within Steam settings. But at the same time, uh, we are getting extra performance. We're at about 95, 96% uh, GPU usage right now, which before we were only at 60. So we are definitely utilizing the full extent of our GPU, which is awesome. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, if you found value out of it, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing too. I post new content every single week. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one where I tell a fairy that I don't believe in fairies and she dies.